Hi friends, I am Mrs. Ragini. I am back with a nice very simple soup. Now it's winter and you know Christmas time. You might be having lot of parties. So for those parties, I am just showing you one simple soup which you can enjoy for your parties. Today I am showing cream of cauliflower soup. So let's start how to make this very simple. Just sauteing the vegetables without any stock. So here in a pan, first we are going to add some butter. You know certain soups we need to saute with butter and certain soups you know we need to directly boil. So here today we are sauteing these vegetables. Add some garlic and finely chopped onions. Immediately after adding your butter, just some garlic and some finely chopped onion. Very little of salt. I have already shown you couple of soups you know home style which you can just make it adding some butter and you know boiling and making it a puree and make your awesome soups. So here once your onions are slight color then we are going to add the carrots and some potato also. You can just cut into small cubes and just saute it for a minute. So just after a minute then you can add the cauliflower here is the cauliflower you can just cut into you know little bit bigger cubes anyway we are going to nicely paste this once these vegetables are slightly you know cooked then we are going to put it in a mixing and we are going to blend it into a nice fine paste just mix it and in this we are going to add very little of pepper powder we are just going to saute this for two to three minutes by covering with a lid and then we are going to add some more of water so that this will become slightly soft and then we can put it in our blender. So here just cover it with a lid and we are going to cook it on a very very slow flame for 2 to 3 minutes. So after 2 minutes now we are just going to add some water. Just you know enough water to cover your vegetables and we are going to cook till it is nice and soft. So we are going to cook for 5 to 10 minutes. So dear friends, after 8 to 10 minutes, you can see, you know, the vegetables need to be slightly soft. That's it. See, the vegetables are perfectly cooked. Now you can just switch off the flame. Just rest this for some time and then you can put it in a blender. And then we are going to make a nice paste out of it. Then we are going to boil it again and make our soup. So we are just going to rest it for some time and then we are going to boil it. Dear friends, here I have nicely blended it. You can see a nice fine paste. If your vegetables have not you know blended nicely, what you can do is you can just strain this mixture. So this much you know you can make it around 4 cups of soups. So I am not making too much. So I am just adding very little into the bowl. In this we are going to add some milk to little bit you know this is thick if you see the mixture is thick so I am adding little bit of milk as per the consistency because we need the soup little bit thin so here is little bit thin now we are going to add the cream so here is the cream just add you know one or two teaspoons of cream and just one or two tablespoon of milk and just mix it once and in the last we are going to just add little bit nutmeg cauliflower nutmeg goes very well so just add little bit nutmeg and mix it before serving we are going to just check the taste first wow so nice creamy creamy I can add little bit of pepper powder and very little of salt also I keep telling in all my videos you know be careful whenever you are adding salt when you are having soups. So always add little less of salt for soups. Here is our cream of cauliflower soup ready. Just switch off the flame and serve it hot hot with some garlic bread, some chips or some noodles which are fried, anything. Whichever you want to eat it side you can just you know enjoy this nice rich creamy soup. So dear friends here is our soup ready. Just you can serve it into a soup bowl. See nice thick creamy soup. If you want you can just you know depending upon how much thickness you want. You can adjust the consistency by adding little bit milk and little bit cream. I know by seeing this itself you are excited to make it. So 
please make it this is very very light and little bit rich so here you know what happens because we added milk and cream once this is cooled down it will form a layer to avoid that what you can do is just take little bit of butter and put it on top of it when it is hot what happens when this melts you know there won't be any layer of forming so dear friends this is ready to enjoy so i'm going to enjoy this with nice garlic bread so dear friends i'm going to enjoy this nice hot hot cream of cauliflower soup nice and rich a little bit calories but once in a while you can have this anyway you're going to hotels for every weekends you have lot of calories why don't you make it at home and have these calories fresh in your house so dear friends i hope you enjoyed this nice simple cream of cauliflower soup so see you in another session with some more varieties of soups and breakfast recipes